Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to a new Bunk Weekly, a very special Bunk Weekly, because we get to share it with our users at home. Dear users at home, if you're watching this, this is one of the oldest, dearest traditions of Bunk, where we get sh to share all of the highlights of the past week with each other. Um, and we have a drink and a beer. Oh, we are doing gin tonic day today. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I'm drinking water for now. Well, if you're watching this, uh, the Bunk Weekly is very interactive. So if you have any questions, please ask whatever you like. Um, and Oli here in his lovely Bunk tank top. Give it up for Oli. Yeah. He'll be your voice and he'll ask whatever question you might have. Now, as has become the tradition, before we start to tell you all about the lovely stuff that we've built for you, the amazing features that make life easy and help you save time, money, and CO2, um, it's uh, good to go through some important events that have happened over the past several weeks. First, to start off with some very, very sad news, a great person unfortunately passed away. His name was Arthur Dr. van Leeuwen. And he was not just a great personal friend of mine, he was also one of the founding fathers of Bunk, and he was also one of the founding fathers of many of the great institutions of the Netherlands. He was an incredibly amazing person, and we made a short video to show you some of the great things he has done. Let's have a look. Arthur Dr. van Leeuwen. Doing good meant standing up for the common good unburdened by the pursuit of personal gain and at times even acting in spite of it. His uncompromising fight for a better world made him someone who was ahead of his time all the time. His resume indeed was as impressive as his personality. From a tenure tenure at the Ministry of Finance to becoming the head of the Dutch Security Service. In fact, his vision was so far ahead of its time that most of his modernizations and guidelines are still in place today, decades later. Returning to finance, he founded the Authority for the Financial Markets and became its boardman in 1999. Again, it was his leadership that transformed this organization to the guard dog of the Dutch financial system. Throughout his career, Arthur Doctors van Leeuwen was a force to be reckoned with, precisely because he stood up for the common good like few other people could. Always willing to engage in an open discussion and with his moral compass at hand, Arthur did everything in his power and fought for an open, transparent and controllable government. Additionally, Arthur wrote several novels and poems and became a distinguished member in the Order of the Dutch Lion. He was also awarded several honorary medals and he was an officer in the French Légion d'honneur. When Arthur Doctors van Leeuwen was already an acclaimed, awarded and established name, Bunk was literally in its early infancy, completely unheard of, and consisting of nothing but a few young coders secluded in a damp and desolate office building. Yet, there was one common ground Bunk shared with Arthur, regardless of age, experience or reputation, the drive to fight for the common good. Without hesitation, Arthur said yes to joining Bunk and became its first board member, effectively validating Bunk's very existence. The very same person who had been fighting for what's right before people walked on the moon used his courage to turn Bunk from an impossible dream into a reality. Wow, such an amazing person. Yes. Well done, Arthur. I feel very honored to have known you and thank you for everything you've done for everyone. Which brings me to the next piece of information, something that I just know would have made him very proud of us all, because we all together, all the bunkers combined, over the past, well, several months, much earlier than anyone anticipated and much bigger than anybody held for possible, simply by using our cards, achieve something truly amazing because together we planted over one million trees. I think that's absolutely amazing and I'm very proud of everyone pitching in. In fact, 
uh, we got so much enthusiasm when we reached this milestone that we were bombarded by a lot of questions. But all of these questions actually boil down to the same thing. What do a million trees actually look like? Well, our trees are still very tiny. We just planted them. <laughs> yes. But together with our first station partner, we made a video on what a fully grown million tree forest looks like. Who is excited to see what it looks like? Yeah. We made a short video. Let's have a look. To uh, have Punk support me in being more uh, CO2 neutral is fantastic. I used my card almost every day. By just doing a purchase, I was able to plant a tree. I think that it makes the feeling of community stronger. I invited my, my dad into the tribe a few, uh, few months ago. You don't think I did that, you think we did that. What, what does, does it, it look, look like? like? Absolutely amazing, and this just uh, really convinces me of one thing, that if we put our mind to something, together we will achieve it. So I'm looking forward to the next million, 10 million, 100 million, 10 gazillion trees that we're going to plant together. Oli, you yes. seem to have a question. Ali, we do. We have one from Werner. He asks, where are the trees planted? Well, the trees, that's a great question, by the way. The trees are planted at Madagascar, uh, which is near the equator, and this has the added benefit that the trees will grow, grow throughout the year. So that's the most effective way to get as much CO2 reduced as possible. And Ali, are they all planted in one site? Well, actually, this is uh, quite a funny question, because just yesterday I learned that our site is fully booked, and now we are looking forward to our second plot. So that's a bit of very exciting news as well. Great, cool. Uh, yeah? The one last one, Ali, okay. is how many trees have you planted? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say, um, I'm at 1,300, <laughs> and last I looked, 82 trees. And I think the, tr the tribe we're in, um, I believe it's called Money Grows on Trees, or Trees Grow on Money. It's Trees Grow on Money, it's the number one tribe. So if you're watching this, and you think your tribe can beat us, Bring it, baby! Yeah. <laughs> and we have uh, one more question from uh, Yorick. He asks, how long does it take to plant the trees approximately after uh, getting one for uh, spending 100 That's euros? That's a great question. I would have to look that up because I think it's batched on a weekly, uh, weekly basis. And we had planned to go visit the site uh, with, uh, with some people, but unfortunately, due to current circumstances, that's not yet possible. But as soon as we can, we'll hit you up with another video. Cool, and oh, sorry, one more, because uh, Joost <laughs> just uh, squeezed one in in the end. Here you go, thanks, Joost. Um, can we also plant trees with online purchases? Uh, just use your bank card and you'll be good to go. Great, thank you very much, Ali. Thank you, Ali. Well, on that note, on to all of the amazing things that we have been building for you. Features that make life easy and help you save time, money, and CO2. The first feature is one that I am very proud of because as the saying goes, it is our children that inherit this world from us. And therefore at Bunk, we believe we should do our utmost best to leave this world behind in the best possible state we can. And so I'm very excited to announce that as of tonight, each and every miner using any of our bunk cards will get to plant trees. <laughs> now, if you're watching this and you are a miner, or you know a miner, go get some cards and let's plant some trees. I see Ollie has yeah. another question. <laughs> so we have a question from Sam. He says, I only have a bunk travel card and I'm 17 years old. Do I also plant trees? Um, as of tonight, as of flipping the switch directly after this bunk update, yes, you will. Cool. That's all we got. Thank you. Good. Okay. <laughs> cool. Thanks, everyone. Then let's go to the app because we have some beautiful things to show you tonight. Let me connect my phone to the screen. 
Yep, there we are. As you can see, we have simplified the beautiful design that we introduced at Bunk Update 14 just some months ago. I want to thank everyone for their constructive feedback and by carefully listening to all of our users, we came to simplify this design even further. It's really just four elements. So everything you can change is a setting and you can find in the top right corner behind the clock wheel, it's a setting. And then we have the dashboard giving you a beautiful insight and an easy insight in the most important information on this screen, just like your car. Then we have the tiles representing all of the stuff you own, such as sub accounts and the cards and all the other things, bunk me links, and then anything you can do is a action and you can find it in a action menu. So paying, requesting money, adding money, adding sub accounts, adding extra accounts, adding business accounts, it's all in the action menu. Any questions? No? Cool, I'll continue. Because if you watch carefully, you see that the dashboard has changed slightly. In the center, we see a golden oldie, Spending Insights. Thanks to Spending Insights, you automatically categorize all of your spend. Uh, and by knowing what you spend your money on, you get to save up to 10% each and every month. Next to the Spending Insights, there is a new dial, and it's called my subscriptions. And before I show you how this works, I have a very simple question. Who here has subscriptions? This would have been so much fun in the De La Mar with 700 people. <laughs> Man, I miss that. I look forward to seeing everyone there again. So everyone has subscriptions. Who here, except for Christian, who I know knows all his subscriptions by heart, <laughs> knows each and every subscription he or she has. Nobody, precisely, so this feature is for you. As of tonight, we have a very simple overview of all of your subscriptions in one place, which will help you save money. Let me show you how it works. Just tap on the dial, and you'll get an overview of all of your subscriptions. Now, in my case, uh, I immediately see my top subscription is T-Mobile, uh, I know it's been over a year that I last looked at my mobile uh, plan, so I know one thing for certain, I just need to give these people a ring to get a better plan because there's going to be something out there. Um, and frankly, I haven't been at Fit for Free for a while either. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, Oli. I'll do my best. We have boot camp. <laughs> boot camp. True, true, true. Um, any questions about my subscriptions? Looking good, great, that means it's super easy and understandable, thank you. So, um, what you might notice is that I also have a Spotify subscription there, and for the people using Spotify, uh, $14.99 is the family plan, and I have a family plan because I share Spotify with three uh, friends. Now this does mean, yes, yes, yeah, y you do too, right? Yeah, there you go, yeah. Family, I mean, friends, family, or partners, it's all good. Um, so this does mean that once a month, I end up uh, sending a request to three people manually. And of course, because it's manually, it costs time and it's just tedious. So I'm very excited to announce that as of tonight, we're introducing a new feature that will help you save time by sending out requests automatically. As with all bunk features, it works in a super easy way. All you need to do is just send out the request. I'll take the shortcut here. And let's select the Stig and Ava Green. Quite a colorful bunch of friends, it appears. Um, divide the split whatever way you want. Tap on next. And now you'll notice that there is a new um, element on the bottom. And it says request immediately. Just tap on it and you get to choose the frequency. So I want to send out this request on a monthly basis. There we go. Tap done, tap on schedule, and as of now, you're good to go. Whoop, there's the first one, yeah. And as of now, every month at 1816 precisely, this request will be sent out and you will never have to do it manually ever again. No more free Spotify for my friends. 
<laughs> no more, yeah, so Tom's saying no more, in, in his Cockney English, <laughs> no more, no, no more free spots for your friend Joe or yeah. something, right? Yeah, yeah. So That's Ali, right. Yeah, uh, Ali, Ali, we do me. have a couple of questions. The first uh, question is, how does Bunk identify um, subscriptions to add them in this list? Well, at Bunk, we're very advanced in artificial intelligence, and we uh, already categorize all of your spend using all kinds of magical algorithms. And we just expanded these algorithms to also include subscriptions. So you don't have to do anything for it. It all works effortlessly and automatically. Good. And one Stop more. Stop typing. We're having a weekly. Yeah. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> can, I, um, can I add subscriptions manually or are they just automatically picked up over time? You don't have to add any subscriptions manually. It's all automatic. Great, thank you very much. Yeah, cool. Okay, going back to the main screen, the home tab, you will see to the left of Spending Insights is also a new DAO. It is called Budget Progress. As you know, Bunk is super easy for easy budgeting. Um, we already have uh, sub accounts. We have Spending Insights that I just spoke about. And as of tonight, we're going to the next step because we're introducing effortless budgeting. All you need to do to budget as of tonight is just select the categories that you want to budget for, then set a limit, and we will track your progress automatically. <laughs> now the setup is super easy, as with everything in Bunk. All you need to do is tap on the dial, and you will see some categories pre-selected. Now actually, this is not just a random list. We look at the categories that you spend your money on, and then we select the four most common ones. So I'm happy with these selections, so let's tap on Next. And as you'll see, that is um, the budget amounts are pre-filled as well. And this too is automatically determined on your past spend. And I have to say, I really love our attention to detail at Bunk, that we pay time and effort to get these small things right so you can have things even more easy than you have them today. So I like the setup the way it is now. I tap on I like it and that is it. As of now, I have budgeting set up. As you can see, we're at 49% of my budget. So that's quite good because we're kind of halfway of the month. And so I know I am on track to be within my budget and I don't waste money unnecessarily. The cool thing about this is, as you approach your limit of your budget, you will get reminders and slight nudges to keep you on the right path to help you <laughs> save some money. Yes, Tom? Can I manually change my amount? Well, I Tom... Like to <laughs> <laughs> Tom is asking, can I manually change my amounts because, as you know, I like to spend money. Well, Tom... Yes, you can, but just for you, maybe we'll build an exception in the back end because you know that's not good for you. <laughs> cool, let's go back to the main screen. That concludes all of the new stuff we have for you on the Home tab. Are there any questions? Well, first of all, I just want to point out that Richard has said, Woo, finally, I don't need to make my own budget. Which, well, uh, <laughs> there you go, Richard. Great to hear. Um, and how, your enthusiasm. <laughs> and Yos asks, how should I budget when I used shared accounts? That is a great question. Well, frankly, it doesn't make a lot of difference because you can still select those sub accounts for your budgeting overview and you'll be good to go. Cool. And uh, Dennis just uh, has a sum, something that we should maybe think about for the future. Can I have a study category as well? Well, what you can do is create a study sub account which is, I think, much better because then you can um, have all of your study-related uh, costs in a different sub-account so you won't be tempted, like Tom here, to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ali. Thank you, Oli. Well, next up is the new community tab. Who's excited to see what that looks like? <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Here it comes. Boom, there it is. Can you see what's changed? Look closely. Do you see? Nothing. Yes, Tom, nothing has changed. <laughs> You're right. Because as it turns out, 
this tab was pretty much great the way it was. Now, if you happen to have ideas on how to make Bunk better, if you have great experiences to share, if you have feature requests, this is the tab to be. Just press on the flash button to open the action menu, tap on feature request and share your idea with us. And if we get enough enthusiasm for your idea, we'll be happy to build it for you. Any questions on the new, already great, not so much changed community tab? I think uh, so one of our users, Max, has asked, how does the community tab benefit the Bunk community? How does the community, well, the community tab is the Bunk community, hence the term community. I think it's a super cool tab where people get to share their personal experiences. They get to share tips and hints on how to use Bunk. Um, they get to share tips on how to save time, money, and CO2. And personally, I also always like the dolls in the top because they make me feel proud to be a bunker. I mean, if you look at these dolls, you see that we have invested 667 million uh, according to people's wishes, which is absolutely amazing. We have planted over 1.3 million trees. I mean, that amount is just mind boggling. And we have already invested 11,000 euros. By the way, I think, dear bunkers, we can do better than 11,000 euros. So. Be more generous. Christmas is coming up. Let's support those <laughs> charities. Yeah. Cool. Are we good? Good. On to the new profile tab. Here we are. As you can see, this tab has changed significantly. Um, in the top, we have the infamous money saved, time saved, CO2 saved dials, uh, showing you how much you have benefited of using Bunk so far, but also giving you tips and hints and guidance on how to save even more time, money, and CO2. And then we see the events tab, the trophies, the add-ons, the common goals, and the tribe you are in. More about that later. Because first, I would like to share with you a new feature that Bunk, the Bunk team has been working tremendously hard on. And one thing that I'm very excited about, and I see uh, Anastasia is very excited about as well, is your favorite. Well, here it comes. The Bunk team has been working very hard to provide you with additional benefit in savings and cashback and discounts simply by being a Bunk user. Isn't that great? <laughs> All you need to do is tap on the money save dial, go to Bunk Deals, and you'll see a list of great companies supplying you additional discounts simply by being a Bunk user. Companies like Booking, like Tickets, uh, you get two months for free for Flow, that's kind of cool. And we will be adding more and more great companies right here to the dots. Cool, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, let's go to the events because there's a lot of cool stuff happening there too. Now. As you know, Bunk is more than just a bank. We have a lot of social elements. Bunk is great to share with your friends, family, or partners. We have a lot of things going on. And as of tonight, we are making all of the social stuff much more insightful and easy to see. Because you open a tribe, you'll see an event here. You get invited to a pack, you'll see an event here. You accept a, a tribe invitation, you'll see the event here. All of the social stuff you will be able to find here so you have a clear overview of what's going on. And I think that will really help make life easy. Then, if we look at the dials, we see a bunch of new stuff and one oldie from left to, light, from left to right. It's my Friday too. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long week. Um, we see connected users and connected users is a great new dial, as you know, at Bunk, you can share your sub accounts with your friends, family, or partners. You can hand out child accounts. You can hand out employee cards. You can connect people to your sub accounts. We can do a whole lot of social things together. And here you will find a simple overview of everyone that is connected to any of your accounts. I think it's very insightful. Here you have it. Then in the center, we slightly discussed it before, freedom of choice. One of the features that has made Bunk world famous. Um, 
Bank is the only bank in the world that allows you to choose where you invest your money in. So I think that's very cool. You tap on it, you get to see some information, and if you so choose, you can change some of the settings. Now to the right is another new DAO. It's called My Bank Contacts. And before I show you how it works, I would like to ask my second simple question of the night. Who here has friends? <laughs> or family, or partners, <laughs> or at least know some people with friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, I don't know how these things go with you, but when I go out with my friends and we have a beer together, or in my case, a gin tonic, um, afterwards they send me a request and I trust them with the money, right? I don't want to spend my time, especially after a night of drinking, going to the, uh, into the app and accepting their request. So we figured, wouldn't it be cool if you could accept requests from your friends automatically? Well, we think it is, and tonight we are launching an exciting new feature. It's called the Circle of Trust, and by simply adding your friends to that Circle of Trust, their request will be accepted automatically. Yes, really cool. Let me show you how it works. Just tap on the My Bank Contacts, go to Circle of Trust and then tap Add. Um, select a friend you want to add. In my case, let's go for Willem Alexander. I've heard he likes a beer or two. Um, for the people who don't know, it's the king of the Netherlands and he really does enjoy his beer. Um, so let the request be debited from the party account. There we are for your security. Enter your PIN code. There we go. And as of now, Willem Alexander is part of my circle of trust. Whenever, if ever, we go out for a beer and he sends me a request, I am all set. <laughs> yeah. Cool. This brings me to the end of tonight. Oh, we have questions. Ali, we do. Um, not everyone can be friends with someone as trustworthy as King Willem Alexander. <laughs> um, and while our bank users have a lot of friends, um, they wonder, can they cap the amount on the circle of trust? Yes, they can. Um, I kind of skipped through it, but as you just saw, um, the standard limit is 100 euros a month, and if you so choose, you can set it higher or lower to whatever amount you please. And uh, another question, is there a limit to how many people can be in the circle of trust? The only limit is your heart, Oli. You can have as many <laughs> friends as you want. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Ali. Cool, thank you. Well, thank you so much for being here tonight. I hope you've enjoyed all of these features that make life easy. I hope it will help you save a lot of time, money, and CO2. But before we say all goodbyes, hold on to your horses, because as usual, we have this one final feature that is tremendously exciting. And I can see that Anastasia is very excited. <laughs> well, let me talk you through how this came into existence. Some time ago, several months ago by now, uh, I was having dinner in Germany with a dear friend of mine. And as we were having a good time, we noticed something peculiar on the table next to us. These were four, uh, we believe, German uh, friends. And they had finished their dinner, they asked for the receipt, and instead of simply paying it, they were going through the receipt item by item, to carefully and precisely, as we would expect from Germans, determine, without error, obviously, up to the last cent, how much every person had owed. Well, we watched this happen, and we thought, surely, surely we can do this in an easier way, and more importantly, in a more magical way. Well, what if I told you that as of tonight, we can transfer this barely readable receipt into this device so you can split it easily with your friends. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, yeah. It took some work. It's kind of complicated. There's a lot of artificial intelligence going on, but it turns out to be really simple to use. All you need to do is tap on camera, scroll to split receipt, Take a picture, it doesn't even need to be a good one. 
And now all GPUs are spinning up. I'm a technical guy, so I'm talking you through it. Oh, there we have it. And it recognized everything. Everything. Absolutely amazing. Now, if you would so want to, you can obviously edit all the items. And if you're not Dutch, you can add a tip by adding add item on the bottom there. <laughs> well, obviously I'm Dutch, so it's fine the way it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry, yes. So tap on confirm, and that is it. For all your friends nearby, they can simply scan this QR code. For friends farther away, you can tap on share link. Then, for example, go to WhatsApp and then share it with Damien. Let me tap on send. There we go. Can we switch to Damien's phone? Oh, there we have it. Damien gets my WhatsApp. Please tap on the WhatsApp. And now tap on the link. Cool. Now, what do we notice here? Do you see something? Damien, you don't have bunk. Shame on you. Who doesn't have bunk these days? <laughs> Well, but the upside is that this feature works with all of your friends, even those who don't have bunk. You can simply send them a request. They will go to easysplit.it, easysplit, <laughs> kind of a geeky joke there, and they'll be good to go. So Damien, please select whichever items you consumed. Yep, tap on next. Yep, there we have it. Tap on pay now. Scroll down. Yeah, let's go for a credit card to plant some extra trees. Fill in your details. Wait for it. Boom. Pay securely with card. It's processing your payment now. Always exciting when you do this stuff live. <laughs> Boom, I got the notification. Isn't this cool? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I do think, and all the confetti proves it, that it is truly awesome. As of tonight, you can split receipts very easily just Go to your bunk app or go to the website easysplit.it and enjoy this amazing new feature. I hope you've enjoyed all of the amazing things we have shown you tonight, all of the things that make life easy. Enjoy your drinks, enjoy your weekend, enjoy bunk. Let's bunk together. Thank you, good night. Thank you. Thank you.